Did you know the Ghanaian soldiers were among the few peacekeeping troops who continued to stay in Rwanda during the 1994 massacre in which close to a million people died? Well, Ghana remains special in the heart of many Rwandese for that show of courage, even after UN and other foreign forces rescued their own and abandoned the country, as some Rwandans put it. In a series projecting the Rwandan story, Lessons for Ghana and Africa, we begin with that of a survivor who was nine years old and now mans the Kigali Genocide Memorial. Head of security desk give to Andrew Apia has more. Yeah. Pictures of those who were killed, from babies to old men and women, hung on a wall inside the Kigali Genocide Memorial. Alongside these pictures are bones and skulls. The Genocide Memorial is one of over 200 dotted across Rwanda, carrying the remains of nearly one million people, many of whom were butchered to death. Hassan Ngeze, who was a famous journalist, he said that we say to the cockroaches, so this is the step of the dehumanization. Dion was nine years old when the genocide started. So my family was in that group of people who were uh, surrounding uh, the, 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 uh, the pyramid. So Today, he is taking a Ghanaian delegation around the Kigali Genocide Memorial. This tour includes a highly emotional video of survivors, how they narrowly escaped death, how their families were killed, and what this memorial means to them. Also, there is a wreath-laying ceremony and telling the entire story of the genocide. For Dion, this is work he's been doing since 2010. It gives him some closure, having lost his family to the genocide. His task is to take visitors through the history of Rwanda, the institutionalization of tribal divisions, and eventually how people started killing their neighbors, friends, and even spouses, amidst, as he puts it, a deliberate attempt to have HIV-infected men rape women to ensure they die slowly and to eliminate a generation. So they needed to make sure that the two, three generation will never emerge again. So very young kids were targeted and they then selected women who married to uh, those you can understand immediately they are Hutus mm -hmm. who married Tutsi men and they were being raped and um, of course we have also a uh, sure the Tutsi's women who were also being raped and they were selecting HIV positive militia to kill to, to rape them and just leave them for long-term consequences and this is what the government is dealing with Bodies of those women, men and children littered in mass graves across the country have been exhumed and reburied here. The clothes and personal belongings on them the day they were killed are also lined up here. A stark reminder that the days on which they were killed felt like any other ordinary day. The history as told here at the memorial indicates the UN forces left as French soldiers also failed to rescue Tutsis, who were being butchered and sometimes buried alive. Ghanaian soldiers, however, led by General Henry Kwame Anidoho, stayed on. Rwandans like Dion have not forgotten those Ghanaian soldiers. The UN forces decided to leave the country. More than 200, 2,000 people left. Only few African volunteers who decided to not leave the country. Ghanaians, uh, Nigerians, few. We were very well treated by Ghanaians. Soldiers, they showed that love, that human heart, and they are, they are my heroes. Sometimes I don't remember, I don't remember some names, but we, we remember the Ghanaians. As young kids being fed by them, being protected, being loved, in their eyes, you can see that humanity. For many who know the Rwandan story, it is the role of the media and how politicians contributed money to spur on propaganda against one ethnic group that stands out and must never happen again in any African country. As Rwanda opens up its economy to Ghana, it seems the country wants to say thank you, not only to the soldiers, but to the entire population. But at the same time to say, learn from our painful experience. Gifti Andropia, Joy News, Kigali, Rwanda.